What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And we got Juice World, Eminem, and Benny Blanco Lace It official audio. Now, hey, all I can say is the last time we had a Juice World and Eminem like on the same track was Godzilla. And that was three years ago. So, we was bound, it's basically like this, but, and that one, that one was a smash hit, no doubt about it. That one was not only like full of some lyricism, but it was also a smash hit. Cause you already know, with Eminem, he's already one of the, he's already one of the best. You don't even have to say that, he's literally one of the best, I don't care what skin, cause we always gonna get those remark about how his skin color like at this point y'all need to come up with something different of why some of y'all don't like Eminem other than the fact that he's white like come the hell on that because at that point if your only argument that you don't like him is because he's white and not because he can literally out rap some of your favorite rappers right now then I'm sorry some then at that point you just said hey hater just to hate but either way rest in peace to juice world like always man sad that he didn't get to see that that song godzilla didn't sad to see that he didn't see how big that song became and such but hey as long as his name was attached to that we all loved it either way so and benny blanco don't know much about him but hey we'll see how he sounds but either way we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Got a little OJ. Yeah. Roll it up, lace it. Pop a few to chase it. I'm in my own matrix. None of this shit makes sense. All these humans basic. Don't got no home training. Chase it. I've been in the matrix, none of this shit makes sense All you humans basic, you ain't got home training Coding by the cases, I've been purple raining Stressed out, so I tend to take meds The devil told me good show, break a leg All these painkillers, like got a pair of broken legs All these perks I popped, we thought I was planning to break my neck Grinding, man, I'm hungry All these pills, about to break my neck and such Hold on, look it's just insane that with Juice, when he, with the whole situation with him taking all them ish and dying on his yacht, and his not yacht, his jet plane and such. That just, it's basically like this. For rappers out there, and look, I don't care if, even if I'm a young nigga and such, I know I don't have a voice, voice and all, but let's face it. Just because I might listen to certain songs that says about pill popping and all that, I'm only enjoying it for the music aspect of it, of how like sonically it sounds. But as for like a message, nah. Unless you're like trying to give an, unless you're trying to give a reasons of why you had to do that and such, then in a way, okay. But if you're just glorifying it, just to glorifying it, that ain't cool. Let's show, break a leg. All these painkillers, like got a pair of broken legs. All these perks I popped, you thought I was planning to break my neck. Grinding, man, I'm hungry for this shit like I ain't ate yet. You wish that you could have what I could have, you could just say that. If you ain't my little bitch, them bitch, them combos, you could save that. These niggas think they invincible till they see them blows and they made back. Roll it up, Damn. Niggas think they're invisible until they see they blows in they Maybach. And people, trust me, a lot of people think that they can be invisible and such. Like they're invincible, sorry. Thinking nobody can touch them. Nigga, I don't care. It's basically like this. It don't matter how much of a level of status you are. Especially in the rapper, in like a music, like a rapper type of thing or so. Look. It don't matter how much of a level of status you got, how much status you got, anybody can get touched. 
with the me 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 anybody can get it these niggas think they invincible till they see them blows and they may back roll it up lace it pop a few to chase it i'm in my own matrix none of this shit makes sense all these humans basic don't got no home training coding by the cases i've been purple raining roll it up lace it pop Chase a few it. chase it i've been in the matrix none of this shit makes sense all you humans basic you ain't got home training coding by the cases yeah. Some ecstasy first, it gets progressively worse Try your best to reverse Unsuccessfully flirting with certain death And reverting to your promethazine urge The fucking devil he lurks Lose your best friend he smirks Wake up and everything hurts And as you spiral downward listen I know just how it is when you start slow Then before you notice it now you're mixing Oxys without prescription Cough medicine volume with them But ain't that how addiction sorta works They call it lean cause you gravitate And lean towards the perp The blue they call it lean because that's how you gravitate towards it. Like lean, like the lean, but lean and how you lean on it. Like you're leaning towards something. Come on now. Like I said, with Eminem, he always is going to be one of my favorite. And yeah, you can say he's the white rapper and all, but look, he's just one of my favorite rappers of all time. Period. Point blank. Period. Notice it now, you're mixing oxys without prescription. Yeah. Cough medicine volume with them. Damn. But ain't that how addiction sort of works? Uh. They call it lean because you gravitate and lean towards the perp. Yeah. The blessing or the curse of fame because now you can afford to serve. Yeah. Percocet and Percodin, but that ain't what you meant when you said that you're in it for the perks. Nah. Develop a half. You're in it for the perks, like the perks of being famous and such, but perks as in the and such, bro. Come on now. But that ain't what you meant when you said that you're in it for the purse. Nah. Develop a habit out of that. Need a Xanax, not a rap. So you pop it for you record a verse. Mm -hmm. Your buzz wear down. Yeah, like a rabbit out of hat. Makes you want to pull your hair out. Yeah. Fentanyl, yep. oxy, what? Demerol. Uh -huh. Demerol would possibly got shot. And it's so crazy that Eminem is a person who's talking about this. Because y'all got to remember, Eminem was on them ish when he was coming up in the game and such was always on all sorts of drugs and shit and then drinking and such so hey it would only seem in a way it, in a weird sort of way to me it feels right when it's coming from Eminem cuz one he's been through all that shit he's took in all drugs and all that and such and he knows how those shits feel Cause, hold on, gotta sip a little OJ first. <sighs> Always stay, get it, get you a dose of vitamin C. But either way, but with Eminem, I always think like, if anyhow somebody were to talk to you about how, what drugs are and how they affect you one another, it had to be Eminem and Juice World. Cause, those two, from what I, from just me, right, are like the main people who in a way tells you why they took so many drugs and why they took drugs, well, tells you they took drugs but and they also tell you why they had to take drugs. But hey, either way, with Eminem being clean for X amount of years now, hey, all I'm saying is we are, I'm glad that Eminem has stopped doing that ish because be, let's be honest it's basically like this at the end of the day for how many people want to glorify want to talk about how oh he don't have that same oomph that he had when he was coming up let me ask y'all this for all of them people who are saying about how they like the old Eminem when when he was on them drugs and all them such and such y'all do realize that if he were to continue doing all that ish still to this day. Right? If he were to keep on doing them ish. He would be in terrible shape. And at that point he would have. He would have met the Lord above. And we wouldn't have him today. So for all them people who saying about how they want the old M and such. Y'all got to remember. That old M and M y'all talking about. When he was making all those hits. Almost most of those hits, he was on drugs and drinking. So really think about what you're saying about how you want that old Eminem.
but that ain't what you meant when you said that you're in it for the perks. Nah, damn. Develop a habit out of that. Need a Xanax, not a rap, so you pop it for you record a verse. Your buzz wear down, yeah, like a rabbit out of hat. Makes you wanna pull your hair out. Mm, like a rabbit out of hat, it makes you wanna put your hair out. Hair. But also hair like a bunny rabbit. Come on now. Fentanyl, yep. oxy, what? Demerol, huh? Demerol would possibly got shock G. Yeah. Roxy, codonaline is probably what got the peep and ODB. Yeah. So many who ODB, what? way too young to go see me. What? I was lucky, what? my escape was narrow window. Now I think I you take ready? it for granted that I'm still here. Synthetic hair when you what? Try see, he's about to talk about how that he's still here to this day. That's what I'm saying. For all y'all people want to say about, oh, I miss that old Eminem. Nigga, if y'all want that, if he were to, if Eminem were to keep doing the stuff that he done for when he was coming up in the game, boy, yeah, it would have been a sad day in hip hop if Eminem passed away. Guarantee you that. Because there's already been other rappers who were legends that passed away and such. Mostly either because of gun stuff or the drip or pills and such so trust me I don't care how much people would say how Eminem don't have that oomph like he used to have when he was coming up in the game at the end of the day you gotta look at how you gotta remember it's basically like this you can't just only look at the music aspect of how he came up in the game you gotta look at everything that's within his music and such that made him beast that make him come up more and more and you gotta realize what things he did during his run and such. Anyway, you can say his first run. Because he came back in 2010 or so. Probably 2010. And he came back better than ever. So, y'all gotta realize. Just because he don't have that same oof that he had before. Like that same power that he had before. Don't think you can't sleep on him now. Like, come on now. Got shot that would be disrespectful. Codonaline is probably what got the peep and ODB. Yeah. So many who ODB, what? way too young to go see me. What? I was lucky, what? my escape was narrow window. Yeah. Now think I take it for granted that I'm still here. Synthetic hair when you what? tried to kill me, then you yeah. murdered Jared, didn't you? Bitch. Piece of shit. Thanks to you, now we lost gangsta boo and pimpsy prince and Michael mixing night with we'll prescription bikes addictions like a fucking vicious cycle. Just we will forever miss you to the younger generation. I ain't lecturing you, but man, just be careful when you. See, even he's telling you that. That for the younger. See, and people want to say about how Eminem hates the younger generation. It's not even about that. It's just that most of them, y'all. And this is why I be. And look, I know I'm part of the young generation and all that. Yeah, I might be 23, but the thing is, I know what's right from what's wrong, and I ain't taking no... D and just because I hear one of your favorite rappers talking about that ish, that don't mean it's okay to do it. It's not like they're telling you to do it. They're singing about it, but they're not... They're rapping about it, but they're not telling you to go do it. And here you got Eminem telling y'all, he ain't trying to glorify it and all that, but he's just telling y'all to be careful with what y'all do. Because if y'all want to live to where he's at right now, the man is like 50 years old now. If I'm not mistaken. Hmm? Some of y'all, like look at it, Eminem, 50 years old. Snoop Dogg, like, still in his 50s and such. We still got Dre, Dr. Dre. Like y'all got to realize, if these people, still to this day, right? These, those three I just named are still alive today. And they were in the realm of how hip hop was at the start, in like the 90s and 2000s, and so on and so forth. So trust me, they care about their health. The younger certain rappers of today need to realize, y'all gotta take care. The first thing, first before anything else, is your health. Prescription bikes, addictions like a fucking vicious cycle. Just we will forever miss you to the younger generation. I ain't lecturing you, but man, just be careful when you pull it up, lace it, pop a few to chase it. I'm in my own matrix, none of this shit makes sense. All these humans basic, don't got no home training. Coding by the cases, I've been purple raining. Roll it up, lace it, pop a few to chase it. I've been in the matrix, none of this shit makes sense. All these humans basic, you ain't got home training.
Yeah, this is definitely adding to my playlist. I don't care. Damn, that last part I can never die, and then what happened? It's insane. But yeah, like I said, if Eminem is telling the younger generation, don't. Just be care. He's not trying to lecture y'all and such, but he's just telling y'all be careful of what y'all trying to take. Cause one minute you could be alive today, next minute gone. So be careful. But yeah, shout out to rest in peace again to Juice World. Shout out to Eminem and I don't think I've heard Benny Blanco. Y'all let me know if like that was like the producer or so. I don't know. But either way. Shout out to Juice World and Eminem. I'm definitely adding this on my hip hop playlist on Spotify for shit sure. I don't care what you say. But yo, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And like on make sure you like this video. Make sure you like this video for Juice World, man, and for Eminem. Cause they be speak cause trust me, these those two always together are great. But either way, like I said, let me get out of here because I've been talking a lot for this reaction. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy, Homer Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. Let go.